Hello students, welcome to Laboratory C2 and this is when we introduce inductors into our uh, AC portion of the course. Uh, inductors are sometimes known as chokes or coils or used for filters uh, and an inductor has the ability to store a energy in an electromagnetic field. So you'll learn more about that as you uh, do some of the review of the uh, lectures on uh, the theory part of the course. Now there are some changes we're going to make to this laboratory and those changes are over here on the right in the red. We're going to change that our L1 here is going to be a 250 millihenry and L2 and 3 are going to be 100 uh, millihenries. And the reason we're going to do this is that these inductors tend to be a little bit more readily available. Uh, some of the smaller inductors uh, are not as easy to find so we're going to use these because I think these are going to be more readily available. So this is the circuit that we will build, and uh, we're going to take a look at that experimentally, what that looks like, and that's going to be our setup here. Now, I've used a built-in uh, 6.3 volt uh, AC RMS output for my readings here, uh, and just between the 6.3 and the 0, I get my applied voltage here. And that's at 60 hertz, so that's readily available to me, so you may want to adjust your laboratories accordingly. You'll need to talk to your instructors if there are any other changes. On this particular deal, in the first table here, is that we are working on establishing what the impedance is for each one of those inductors. And we're going to just use, we're going to measure voltage, we're going to measure current, and then we're going to calculate what the impedance is, rather than going through the mathematical computation that we, exp that we uh, do theoretically. We're actually going to do an experiment where we find out what the impedance is. And once you figure out the impedance, you're going to transfer that onto your back table here. And then uh, you're going to transfer that impedance information right here. It says table 2 here. It should say table 1. And then what you're going to do is look at your voltages, measure your voltage drops, and measure your total current in your series circuit. And then you can uh, calculate what the... Uh, power output's going to be on that particular deal. So that's what you're going to do on that. Experimentally it looks like this is I have three components that are in series. I have this is what my 250 inductor is this this coil here and then these two other inductors are 100 millihenries. Again you're going to apply your 6 volts and then we're just going to read across here. So uh, there's my total voltage there and then I'm going to look at individual voltage drops for uh, L1 L2 and L3 when we look at those things and then we're going to uh, there we go we're going to record that information and do the computations for table 1 and table 2 and then there's some questions at the end of the lab so if you have any other questions or clarification make sure you check with your laboratory instructor they're more than happy to help you out and uh, let's take a look at this this is uh, some interesting stuff as we go start dealing with coils uh, in our AC course.